Once again, we are with uh, back with uh, Akbar. Uh, Akbar, uh, you have been to Pakistan also. Yes, I did. You have been in Pakistan. Uh, what reminds you of Pakistan? Last time you visited in 2008? 2006. 2006. Okay. Tell me about some of the memories of 2000. When six. When I was there, when I was in Peshawar. Mm -hmm. Peshawar. Peshawar. From my village. Okay. From my grandfather's village. Okay. Okay. Uh, grandfather is from Swabi. Okay. okay. So we try to go to shops at Peshawar. Okay. So <clears throat> we're supposed to be there, say, about five to six hours. Okay. And we got go back to Swabi. Okay. Eventually, there is a riots going on. Riots were going on. Okay. Because, uh, of the uh, our prophet Muhammad Rasulullah photograph. Okay, we had riots. Okay. So there's a lot of shooting going on in uh, Sadar area. Okay. Okay. So we and got, and and uh, who had uh, done the blasphemy? Hmm? Who had done the blasphemy at that time? Means this act was done by somebody in Pakistan. Yes, I think. And, uh, no, no, no. I'm, the question is, somebody uh, had taken few of the steps against the religion in 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 uh, in Pakistan. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we got to rush to find hotel. So I went to. Who did that? By the way, who 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 did that problem? Mm, the locals there. Okay. And basically what I see is those uneducated people who was in the street, mm -hmm. okay, throwing stone here and there. Okay. And those uh, educated people uh, no? go back to their home. For me, I go to check into the hotel to make sure that I'm safe. With some so you said that you <coughs> came to uh, Pakistan, you saw the riots and those were religious riots. Yes. And the uh, Pakistani government had committed that mistake? Mm, I don't think so. Who had committed that mistake? Those local, local people who don't know about anything start to rise on the road. Okay, okay. Okay, coming back to Singapore. Now, when have you seen a religious riot in Singapore? It doesn't happen here. Why? Because we stay democratic. You stay democratic. Once you talk about about democratic, you talk don't talk about religion. Oh, we don't talk about religion here. Okay. Okay. Uh, whatever you believe, you believe. You're a Muslim. Oh, even though we have Muslim, Christians, Hindus, <coughs> and you are a Muslim. I am. Okay, you are a Muslim. At any point in Singapore, do you think that you were denied your religious uh, rights? Mm. As far as the government concerned in Singapore, whatever you believe, you believe. Okay. And you don't talk about other religions. Okay. okay. And uh, it do happens that uh, a Chinese talking about Muslim, mm -hmm. okay, he was jailed for 16 months. Okay. okay. And a Christian also talking about the Muslim, that guy was jailed also. Hmm. And even though the Muslim guy is talking about Christian, the guy was jailed too. Mm -hmm. The rules of the um, Singapore are tough. It's very, very tough. It's very, very tough. Have you been ever punished? Yes, for throwing papers. For throwing papers? Yeah. For throwing papers? Yeah. How, how much? 70 Singapore dollars. 70 Singapore dollars. I do not see the police on the roadside. There's police all over in Singapore. But where is it? It's on the top of the building. On the top of the building? Yeah. Means they see through the cameras? Yes, that's right. Means most, most of the police stations, okay, they operate from the police station. Okay. And we have the civilian police with civilian clothing. Okay. Okay, on the road. So no uniform for police at all? There is a uniform code. But why don't we see them? Okay. They don't want uh, the public to know 
that in this area you have so much police hanging around, okay? They use the civilian police. But if you do something wrong, they will appear forthwith. Definitely they appear because they get it through the camera. Can you give me a reference? You did something wrong and s immediately the police came? Uh, what kind? Fighting? Yeah. Anytime if you do something wrong, you know that you can be watched by police. Yeah, within uh, two minutes, police will be around. And do you think that you can get away with the laws by bribing somebody? You're talking about bribing, okay. Just about three days back, a Philippine, a Filipino man who came down from the sheep with his knife, okay, and he was caught with a knife, and he want to bribe the police officer for 50 Singapore dollars, uh -huh. and the charges is double for him. You cannot carry a knife in Singapore. Yeah, you can't. Even though a knife, you can't carry it on your back. Okay. I see. So, you, don't you feel so that uh, being a democratic country, you are denied for your laws, the way you want to live, the way you want to eat, or the way you want to carry yourself? No. Uh -huh. Okay. But the system, the rules and regulation is already in plan, okay, for the public itself. You're given a chance to take a birth in some other country. Would you like to or would you like to be born again in Singapore? Uh, I can say Singapore is the most safest country. Uh -huh. One of the safest country in the world. Uh -huh. Like I used to travel to US, to London, okay? You can't walk 9 p.m. in the evening alone. But in Singapore, a lady can walk about 3, 4 a.m. in the morning. There's nothing happened to her. Can there be any harassment done to the lady? Nothing happened. Zero. Zero? She's, she's safe on the road. She's safe? Nobody can harass? No. What would happen if somebody harasses her? Well, you have... Uh, What's what, what are the charges? It depends on... Uh, the kind of the harassment. Okay, let's say he goes to in prison, he get cane. Mm -hmm. okay. But if you're Mr. Somebody in the society, you're a powerful individual. Say again? If you are Mr. Somebody in the society, mm -hmm. are you a powerful individual? Can you get away from the law? No, you can't get away. If you're known to the some political family? No. Okay, tax. Talk about tax. We, I have seen that I have traveled in a cab. He has shown me a receipt. He said, this is the P car charges and this is the surcharge, which is the tax. Mm. Do you think that lots of taxes are here? Uh, you see, the system is why the government, uh, why the taxes fares are different on certain hours. No, I'm not asking this thing. The other taxes, I'm not talking about the P cars, I'm talking about the taxes which goes to the government. It depends on your salary. Okay. okay. It depends on your salary. Okay, or your per annum salary. Do you think that uh, the taxes which are imposed on you, they are applied on the people's um, uh, well-being? Yes, they pay more tax than us. But, but uh, the government also apply, uh, pay, um, applies this tax at the proper place in the country? What? Or do you think that your tax is wasted? Taxes, it depends, as I say, it depends on your per annum. Uh... Akbar, my question is that do you think your government is utilizing the taxes in the right direction or it is wasting your tax? Uh, no, it's in, it's in the right direction. Can you give me an example? Okay, as example that Singapore, we don't owe anybody. We have surplus of money. Mm -hmm. Okay? And we donate to some of our neighbor's money. Okay. okay, I see. Okay. Thank you very much, Akbar. We take another break and we come back to you.